Donald Trump was found liable for fraud after misrepresenting the worth of Mar-a-Lago and other assets in financial documents in his New York civil fraud trial. He was subsequently ordered to pay over $450 million in damages. However, the embattled former POTUS legal team claimed he's been unable to secure a bond to pay the pricey fee after speaking with 30 different underwriters. The amount of the judgment, with interest, exceeds $464 million, and very few bonding companies will consider a bond of anything approaching that magnitude, Trump's attorney explained in a statement. Gary Giulietti, an insurance broker who previously testified in the trial, also claimed obtaining a bond of that magnitude would be a practical impossibility for the controversial politician. Over the course of my career, during which I have been directly or indirectly involved in the issuance of thousands of bonds, I have never heard of nor seen an appeal bond of this size for a private company or individual, he said at the time. After substantial good faith effort over the last several weeks, obtaining an appeal bond for the judgment amount of over $464 million is just not possible under these circumstances, he added. This isn't the only legal trouble the ex-prez is facing. Trump was recently found liable for sexual abuse and defamation against writer E. Jean Carroll. He posted a bond for $91 million earlier this month. Aside from his civil suits, Trump is also the first former president of the United States to ever be charged with a crime. He was indicted four times in 2023 and is facing a total of 91 felony counts. However, the 77-year-old continues to insist he is innocent of all charges and that the snowballing legal cases against him are nothing more than an attempt to interfere in his election campaign. Nobody's been treated like Trump in terms of badly, he said in an interview that aired earlier this month. Russia, 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 Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine. Everything was a scam and it literally starts a new one, he continued. As you win one, you start the other impeachment hoax number one, impeachment hoax number two all hoaxes and scams. And I said if they ever devoted their time to making America great again, it would be a lot easier.